Hello, 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 hello. This is a Spirit Cooking Videos, and I'm going to show you how to uh, soften up beans. I had asked somebody that question on here uh, before, and I'm going to show you how to how to season it with uh, garlic out of fresh garlic out of your garden. See now, this right here, I just pulled this up out of the garden, as you can see. Has roots still on it, and uh, I'm going to take and pour uh, uh, one cup of beans in a crock pot. So that's, that's one cup of beans, and then I'm going to put uh, a, ha a half of one quarter of butter in there to soften them up. And then these beans will be ready in just like an hour in the, in the crock pot. Just an hour to two hours. And uh, so that's uh, pretty amazing. And uh, then I want to show you how to just take this here and cut the roots off right here like this. And then you just dice these, this end of it up. And sometimes I put the green in there. The green's good to eat too. But you can choose whether you want to put the green part in. Sometimes it will you want just want to put the white part in, but you can cut off this garlic clove and dice it up. You dice it up and put it in there uh, with it, and that uh, will give you your natural seasoning. And down here, I've got my seasoning counter down here, and as you can see, I've got all my, my seasonings down here. And see, I'll put I'll put these in there. I put some Cajun and bay leaves and coriander and and ground ginger and, and ground sage. I'll put that in there too. A little bit of time. And that will go in the beans. And then there's some bean seasoning also. And so uh, this is my uh, kitchen here. It's not, I'm, I'm making a larger one, but this is a, this is a plenty sufficient to do this uh, crock pot job. And uh, I enjoy cooking in here. This is, uh, we're dicing, got to dice this up just like this. Let me see if I can get that down there where you can dice it up. Okay, dice it up. Like this, you dice it up real small, small like that. Make it as small as it did. Make it as small as you can get it, and then you pour that in there. And then it's just a matter of shoving each one of these, this pinch of each one of these here, in there of the ground ginger. I'll hold it up so you can see that. Just put just about that much in. As you've seen me do before, with if you've watched on my breakfast videos where I, I put the ginger on the pancakes and the eggs, and then here's the cake, and you put a little bit of that in there. And uh, I'll just show you this here, right? 